Plants are autotrophs. If we break this word down, it tells us that plants are self-feeding organisms. Plants are able to produce their own food. They do this through a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a chemical reaction that occurs in plant cells. It's part of a plant's metabolism. Chemical reactions are all about turning reactants into products. And like we said, plants use this reaction to produce food. They make a simple sugar called glucose. Let's take a look at the reactants and products of photosynthesis. Glucose, a simple sugar, has the chemical formula C6H12O6. It is made from carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. To make glucose, plants need to obtain the necessary building blocks. Plants obtain two reactants from their environment, carbon dioxide and water. From these two molecules, plants obtain the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms that they need to make glucose. But is one carbon dioxide molecule and one water molecule enough to produce glucose? Glucose has six carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and six oxygen atoms. How many water and carbon dioxide molecules would a plant need to make one molecule of glucose? Plants would need six carbon dioxide and six water molecules. This is because one molecule of glucose contains six carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and six oxygen atoms. But as you can see, we have some atoms that are left over, oxygen atoms. These leftover atoms join to make six oxygen molecules. The reactants of photosynthesis are carbon dioxide and water, and the atoms of these molecules are rearranged and recombined to make the products of glucose and oxygen. This is the photosynthesis equation. It's a reaction that occurs in the cells of all plants. Don't forget that the purpose of photosynthesis is to produce glucose, a source of food. The extra oxygen is considered a waste product of the reaction and is released into the environment. But you already knew the plants give off oxygen. Now you know why and how.